Hello, moon babies. It's Molly. Thank you so, so much for being here and tuning into the channel. So I hope that this little late autumnal vlog finds you well. I know that it's been a twee bit quiet <laughs> on the channel lately, and that will be changing shortly. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to share some adventures and a little bit about what I've been up to over the past few weeks. So I had the pleasure of spending Samhain and Halloween hiking around in Colorado and New Mexico. And New Mexico is a place that I find myself again and again. And I just feel like part of my heart is a mountain because I just, I don't notice how much I miss it until I'm in them again. And I'd never been to the mountains in the fall, and the colors did not disappoint. <laughs> the blues and yellows of the mountains and the siennas and pinks of the desert are all I could ever want. I'm really excited for today's adventure. I'm taking you to Tippecanoe Herbs to meet herbalist Kyle Denton. He's a maker of medicine and magic in our city, and I cannot wait for you to meet him. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting us come in my and pleasure, Molly. visit your shop. This is the first time um, being here, and um, I have been uh, on your herb walks because I know you do a lot of teaching in the city too. Yes. So can you tell people just a little bit about, about what you do? Yeah, well I'm an herbalist so that means I, it's kind of a poorly defined occupation. So, <laughs> uh, so somebody who works with plants and the things that I like to do is I like to make plant medicine as you can see surrounded by plant medicine here. It smells fantastic in here. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I like to gather plants from the wild okay. and I also really and passionate about it so much that I like to teach other people. It's a, it's a community type of um, relationship where they have a relationship with nature and, have, uh, and bringing that relationship towards the community. So I do a lot of classes as well, like the one, the herb walk that you were on. Yeah, it was a fantastic uh, summer solstice herb walk. Yeah. It was really special. Yeah, so. it was. Um, what do you love the most, if you had to narrow it down, about working with plants? My favorite thing is teaching. Okay. I love I love it because one of the reasons why is because my brain isn't linear and I like to I like to just walk around in nature and then poof something occurs to me and then I can um, I can use that and talk about that with other people and so I really like being outside and I really like people and so it's it seems like a perfect like storm yeah. to be a to be a, a, a teaching type of herbal. This is a perfect marriage for you. Though. Right, That's exactly. Awesome. What do you wish, as since teaching is such an integral part of what you do, what do you wish that more people knew or understood about working with plants? I think more people should know about plant medicine is how they can use them themselves. This is a very this is a very old field of, of work. People have been healing themselves through nature for a long time. And just recently we haven't we've we've lost touch with that and, and I think there's a lot of problems as a result of that. And so I think it's really easy for people to find a connection to nature once again and to use that connection. And that's that's one of the things that I like about teaching is because people have this knowledge. It's down in their genes somewhere, and when you talk about it, they just remember it. Oh yeah, and they have memories of their grandparents doing it, but they have an ancestral memory too, and it's really neat to see that light 
turn on when you talk about plants. Thank you again. This is super fun. It's been really great to be able to sneak around and enjoy this tour. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. It's really nice to have you. You can find out more about Tippecanoe Herbs at tippecanoeherbs.com, on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, or pop in and visit their brick and mortar location in the Walkers Point neighborhood of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been tucked away in my drawing layer working on a new offering for you, and I thought that we could spend an afternoon in the studio together. For the past few months, I've been illustrating a much-requested coloring book of spells, and it's been an adventure to research this book for you. One of my goals in creating this book was that it not just be filled with really fun details for you to color, but also be packed with magical symbolism. Research has always been my happy place, and I've really been relishing researching botanicals, mythologies, animal, vegetable, and mineral correspondences, tarot imagery, and the visual languages of different magical traditions to include in every page of this book. My goal is that each image really weaves layers of meaning for the colorer. The colorer? The colorist? <laughs> you know what I mean. I also wanted to thank my patrons for sharing their keyword suggestions with me and contributing their ideas to this collection. This has also been an opportunity for me to dive deeply into my love of woodcut prints, of Renaissance illustration, illuminated manuscripts, and really taking and smashing up that appreciation of the antiquated with my own very modern, thoroughly doodly rainbow witch style. <laughs> and it will be ready for you very, very soon, so stay tuned. I cannot wait. To share it with you. I want to thank you so, so much for joining me for this little vloggy update. We will talk again very, very soon. I have lots of new videos on deck for you. And I want to thank you so much for watching and listening, Moon Babies. And until we speak again, witch on, witch boldly, and be well. Bye-bye.